Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the measurement of velocity. It is a part 4 because we have started this velocity measurement three, uh, and completed 3 videos so far. In the previous video, I have explained the types of linear velocity measurements like a seismic and a Doppler effect and some linear velocity transducer. And in this video, I am going to explain completely about angular velocity angular velocity so angular velocity is angular velocity angular velocity is, is the second type of velocity measurement where the movement of the uh, resultant signal will be in the angle but in the previous case we have used a linear movement and as well as like the value will be increases in the linearly Okay, linear movements we have taken either horizontal or vertical movements we have considered so that some resultant electrical parameter has been changed either voltage or current. But in this case, I am going to explain the second concept that is angular velocity. So the measurement of angular velocity may be with a tachometer. So the main device which is used to measure this angular velocity is a tachometer. So the tachometer may be defined as an instrument that is used for the measurement of angular velocity as of shaft either by registering the total number of revolutions during the period of contact or by indication directly the number of revolutions per minute. By seeing this statement you may have one idea in mind that whatever the bikes we have the meters, speedometers are working with the same principle tachometer. Tachometers are nothing but we have the speedometers on our bike which is what we have done there in that case we have a wheel on the bike we have a wheel where one product, one uh, device is coming and connected to the wheel. Okay, Inside the wheel what happens? The wire to, from this um, uh, speedometer that is a wire is there that is connected to the wheel of this uh, uh, inside wheel of this wheel front wheel similarly what happens whenever the wheel comes into motion whenever the wheel comes into motion uh, that means it calculates the number of revolutions one is in contact the device is in contact with the wheel so that the number of revolutions can be calculated within this meter those revolutions are given like rpm okay in our uh, speedometers in on our bike we uh, if you see the speedometer, we have revolutions per minute also it shows. So it indicates the number of revolutions during the period of contact or by indicating directly the number of revolutions per minute. An instrument which ever continuously indicates the value of rotary speed or continuously displays a reading of average speed over rapidly operated short interval of time so depending on the type of measurement whether we can directly calculate throughout the usage of the operation or within the short interval of time also we can do this uh, experiment within this time period i want to measure the velocity then also we can do that no we can want to calculate the velocity throughout the time period also we can do that so different types of tachometers are there actually which are working with different uh, input voltages like AC or DC. So tachometers are basically classified into two types mechanical tachometers and electrical tachometers. So mechanical tachometers are nothing but it is having a spindle type material that is connected in contact with the device that movement will cause the movement in the meter. And another thing is electrical tachometer, it uses some power of supply like AC or DC that determines the velocity of the device. So let us see individually what is a mechanical transducer and what is the electrical transducer. See the mechanical transducer, by seeing the diagram you may have one idea that the needle shows, inside we have one needle, that needle shows it's like a watch, One that needle will rotate like this. In this direction depending upon the velocity of the object suppose one object is there which is moving like this okay wheel that is moving like this it is a spindle which is connected to the object which is in motion okay in suppose in a mill 
I went to a mill and I want to calculate what is the speed that the uh, motor is rotating. Then uh, that the mill item, what, uh, what we can call it, it is a mill um, used to produce some flooring mill. Okay, I want to calculate what is the speed of the shaft. Then I need to connect this spindle attached to that shaft so that the spindle will also rotate at the rate at which the shaft rotates so that the needle shows the deflections and corresponding reading will be shown by this dial. Okay, suppose if I want to start this operation or reset or stop and reset this operation there is a button here so everything here goes on mechanically we are producing we are pressing the button starting the operation and this needle has to be connected to the place where you want to calculate the velocity so everything is done manually okay everything is done manually so definitely some errors will be there the first point we need to remember is some errors will be there because the manual interaction should be there Another thing is all this entire operation is mechanical movement. So disadvantages, what are the disadvantages of this mechanical tachometers? Mechanic, mechanical tachometers are use, only useful for heavy machinery. Mechanical transducers are used for heavy machinery where we cannot apply some AC or DC supply and calculate the velocity. Such type of cases we should go for mechanical machinery where the shaft comes in contact with the the spindle comes in contact with the shaft and that also rotates so that the mechanical movement can can give the velocity of the moving object they cannot be used in applications where instantaneous indication of the speed is desired immediately i want i want to calculate this uh, on the spot i want to calculate this velocity that cannot be in such cases it cannot be used large error due to manual operations i told you because we need to start the operation we need to stop the operation and that spindle has to be come in contact with the device that also manual interaction should be there so yes there is a human being interaction some of some erroneous results may be possible so coming to the second type of tachometers which is used to measure the angular velocity that is nothing but electrical tachometers again electrical tachometers are classified into two types they are dc type tachometers and another one is ac type tachometer so by seeing the name we can say that one is dc type another one is ac type of tachometers so coming to dc type of tachometer generator in case of dc tachometer generator the machine whose rotational speed is to be measured is coupled with the shaft of the dc tachometer generator so whatever the uh, uh, for which device you want to calculate the velocity that shaft is connected with the spindle of this dc tachometer the armature of the device rotates inside the constant magnetic field of the permanent magnet remember this point in the because this point only the it, it, it only gives the uh, difference between the AC type tachometer and DC type tachometer. So the armature of the device rotates. The armature here, the armature comes in rotation. Armature comes in rotation. Armature is nothing but inside some wheel is there here. Okay, so that wheel is nothing but armature. That armature of the device rotates inside the constant magnetic field of the permanent magnet of the permanent magnet the rotation includes the emf rotation includes the electromotive force moving coil voltmeters measures the magnitude of the induced emf so how we are calculating the uh, because of this armature rotation in the permanent magnetic field permanent magnetic field is there in that field we are uh, having the armature to rotate because of this rotation some emf is generated that emf can be calculated using the moving coil voltmeters that re the resistance is pro resistance is provided in series in order to control heavy currents generated by the armature here in the voltmeter we have series resistance that series resistance we have taken some multiplier higher value so that it can it controls the maximum current that enters into the uh, voltmeter because of this armature so commutator is used to convert the alternating current of the 
armature into direct current now you may have a doubt why we need to convert a alternating current to direct current when i told you the concept of voltmeters when i told you the concept of voltmeters i told you voltmeters are ac voltmeters or dc voltmeters that are made up of d r sonwell meter d r sonwell meter so d r sonwell meter works only with dc current not with ac current it works with only dc current so how the dc current comes because the movement gives some ac current analogs like alternating current that alternating current should be converted into dc so that the voltmeter is working so in order to do that we are using a commutator here rather than any other rectifiers and so on so commutators which are used in the uh, dc type tachometers to convert the ac to dc so that that armature output current can be calculated by using this voltmeter current voltage second type is ac type tachometer generator so in the ac type generator in the case of ac tachometer generator the armature remains stationary but the magnetic field rotates i told you in the previous case here see i uh, the point what i rounded here once read the statement this uh, see the armature of the device armature of the device rotates armature is rotating in the permanent magnet where the magnet is fixed here magnet is stationary whereas armature is rotated okay magnetic magnet is fixed armature is rotated coming to this point in case of ac tachometer generator armature remains stationary uh, and magnet is rotating so magnet rotates whereas armature is stationary okay this is the difference between ac tachometer and dc tachometer i will round this point also so that it is uh, understandable for you when you read the rotation of the magnetic field induces emf force in the coil same method same principle whatever we have applied in the previous case here also same um, in the previous case magnet is fixed armature is rotation some there also some emf is generated but in the ac type magnet is rotating armature is fixed uh, here also some emf is generated either the amplitude or frequency of the emf can be used to measure the rotational speed the voltage is first amplified and then rectified by passing through a filter so advantages and disadvantages of these two what i have explained so far ac and dc tachometers so advantages the direct the direction of rotation is directly indicated by the polarity of the output voltage output voltage is typically 10 millivolts per rpm and can be measured with conventional type dc voltmeters so these are the two advantages one is direction we can calculate another one is typically the old rpm is around 10 millivolts per rpm can be measured with conventional dc voltmeters disadvantages are the commutator and brushes require periodic maintenance i told you in the dc type tachometers the commutator is used to convert the alternating current to direct current so whenever the commutators are used some brushes are there so this needs some maintenance always the input resistance of the meter should be very high as compared to the output resistance of the generator this is required to limit the armature current to small value because of this higher resistance the armature current may go goes down if the armature current is large then the field of the permanent magnet is distorted giving rise to a non-linearity so these are the disadvantages of this uh, limitations and uh, some periodic maintenance is required these are the disadvantages and those are the advantages okay so with this the velocity and the speed measurement is completed thank you